How's it going you guys? My name is Figure Films and today I wanted to show you guys some 112 vehicles that I have and that I use for my action figures like Mezco, Marvel Legends, DC Essentials, all types of 6 and 7 inch figures and you know I see a lot of stuff about vehicles on YouTube but you know I don't see a ton of stuff and I think you know a lot of people wonder where they can get vehicles that'll go with their action figures regardless if they're kids, if they're collectors, if they want to shoot dioramas, different stuff like that. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. I'm going to start off with one that's already kind of been, people have been over this. Uh, I know people have made customizations. That's this one right here. This is originally a brat vehicle. I, I mean, I couldn't tell you exactly what it is. It looks like the Ferrari that's in Ferris Bueller. The old Ferrari is what it looks like, except in white. So, let's say it's like a Ferrari-ish car, but, you know, this fits your 112th scale. We'll do a Mezco. Got Mezco Batman right here. Fits characters like him. We'll see uh, another character. Kind of in the bigger scale, the seven inch scale, that's Red Hood. You know, I just, characters I got handy with me right now. Got the Red Hood sitting in there. You could put someone in the passenger seat. They'd fit perfectly fine. And uh, yeah, um, that's that. Let's move on to the next one. I kind of wanted to show this off really. It's, this one's kind of a work in progress. I've been working on it. I, uh, I got this at an antique store. It's made by American Plastic Toys. That's who it's made by, if you want to look it, look into it. Th this one was originally yellow. It looks terrible down here, but I mean, I'm still working on it. You could fit your 112 collectibles in there, as you can see. You know, you can kind of see, maybe. Yeah, you could kind of get them in there. Mine's all broken up because it, it, it's been kind of, you know, the least favorite of the bunch. But, it, you know, it would be good for background stuff. You know, you could have characters in there. It'd be good for like a henchman car, so there's that. So next I'm going to show you guys another car that I found at the antique store in my town. It's this white Corvette. When I first saw it, I thought immediately, yeah, this is going to go perfectly. Originally it had all these like stickers on them. I kind of peeled them off, you could, still a little bit. These were all white. I just took some Sharpie and ran it through there. Just a nice little Corvette, you know. These come up, and I I really started liking this thing. And you could see, you know, Black Panther, and just another character I have in here. Marvel Legends fit perfectly in there. All your DC characters will fit perfectly in there. You know, overall, it's a really nice car. To the point where I actually decided that I wanted to get two of these things. And I got me a black one right here. As you can see, Batman and Robin are right there. You know, it's a Corvette. What do you think when you think Corvette's Batmobile? So I had to get me a black one. This one's a little bit beat up. I ordered this online, and if you guys, you know, really like this car a lot, and I'm going to try to find the brand for you. It, yeah, it's Process Plastics Co. Corvette. This says it's two th a 2000s Corvette, so I'm going to assume it is. I like this black one. It's definitely a work in progress. Got some, you know, broken stuff on it. I'm gonna have to replace the windshield. But you know, if you guys want a video about that, then uh, leave a comment because you know I'd love to do a video of me customizing this into like a Batman Year One ish Batmobile. That's kind of my goal for it. You know, I like making uh, figure films. As you know, that's that's the uh, the channel name. Kind of wanted to make a Year One ish film, but you know, Batman in Year One didn't really have like the top notch technology. So I mean. Let's say, you know, this is his dad's old Corvette and made it into a Batmobile. We'll see. If you guys want to do a little, see a little customization, make sure you like and subscribe. You know, this one does the same thing. It's kind of broken there, but it's a work in progress piece, that's for sure. And uh, let's move on to the next one. Now I'm going to show you this uh, RC LaFerrari. This is 112th scale-ish. Here I'm going to put... Captain America right there leaning up against it. He's chilling. It's not really a car that uh, you could put your characters in per se because I cut this whole canopy off. Eh, if you really just want them to sit in there, you could probably get them in there. But it's more so like a show car. Let's say you want Bruce Wayne to 
to have a nice car and here you go la ferrari right there you I mean he'd drive it looks kind of like the telltale batman thing i got that from target it's about 20 bucks it's an rc car too i mean you can use it as both and now on to my next one this one is a batman missions batmobile that i customized myself the Batman Missions Batmobile, not to get it mixed up with the other one that has like a pump on the back. This one's actually made for 12 inch figures, but it would be like a go-kart for a 12 inch figure. So I decided, well, I want to customize this and use it as my six inch figures Batmobile. And that's exactly what I did. If you could see, you know, it's got a custom paint job going all around it. Uh, the original inside of it had like a like not the inside but the uh, the canopy part had like a it wasn't see-through so I took some like clear plastic from the uh, actually the Ferrari the clear plastic from the package of it and I made it into these windows you know I dry brushed all the way around made it look dirty I drilled a hole out in the middle and you know I painted everywhere and since it's made for um, 12 inch figures like I said I got two figures in there right now, which I absolutely love that. I, my favorite thing is to have vehicles where I can put more than one character in because, you know, that's realistic to Batman. Batman's not, for the most part, going to have a one-seater vehicle. So, yeah, this is my, uh, and my, my little Batman thing. You can see him in there. My little Batman canon world of action figures. This is my, this is my main Batmobile, and I like it a lot. On to the next thing. This one, believe it or not. It's actually made for smaller scaled figures. This is the uh, Batman the Animated Series Batwing. I uh, had to do a little bit of customization to it. I unscrewed it all, took the seats out, but as you can see, we have Batman and Robin. This is a Mezco Batman and a DC Universe Classics or whatever they call them anymore. Robin, Red Robin in there. And uh, did a little customization, but they both fit in there perfectly. I'm gonna show you guys how I did this. So I'm taking Batman out right there. And there's Robin all the way back there. You know, you can kind of see him. I'm going to take him out too. And keep in mind, this Robin is a rubber cape Robin. So, I mean, you could even put a rubber cape. But So, the original look of this has two seats. There's two seats, and you can see where the screws are. I, uh, I decided to, you know, get in there, unscrew it. Had to kind of cut into the bottom half of this a little bit, you can see. But I decided to unscrew those seats. I cut one of the seats off, and then I took some glue, put the seat all the way back there, glued it in there, and I mean, that's, instead of paying, how much is one of those newer uh, bat wings? You know, those things are super expensive. Like, no one's gonna buy that. And I got this thing for a steal on eBay, Batman the Animated Series Batwing. You put Batman right in there. Close that thing up. There's your Batwing. Relatively cheap, too. Got this thing on a steal on eBay. You just gotta look around for these things. That's about it. Let me know if you want me to do some more stuff like this. Uh, I should be working on some new figure films and some more videos coming soon. Make sure to leave some comments what you like, what you don't like, whatever. Doesn't matter to me. Make sure you like and subscribe. This is Figure Films. Have a good day. Stay safe and stay home. What the fuck?